welcome back to the channel. So uh, this seemed like a good enough spot to stop. Um, so for probably the last two and a half miles or so, I've been just on the miners track up Snowden, um, which isn't really too eventful. Oh, geez, I keep thinking the camera's gonna blow down. So yeah, anyways, I'll just stay here right next to the camera. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, I'm cautious because I've already broke it. I'll show you guys a little bit later. Uh, I separated the bottom from the um, the main body again uh, because of the wind. It just knocked it over when I wasn't paying attention. So, in any case, I'm going to put the camera away now. Uh, we're now ascending um, a portion that I've actually gone down before um, on the last camp. Uh, when I did Snowden, I actually camped up on this ridge, uh, but I never got to do the rest of the horseshoe path. So yeah, I'm looking to uh, hike the rest of that ridge and then uh, camp somewhere um, on the other side, so I'm gonna go ahead uh, put away the big camera since it's busted anyway I'll still be able to use it for these kind of still shots and things like that But uh, it really can't jar around too much on the tripod or it'll separate even more So I'm gonna go ahead and put that away get the GoPro out um, Because I'm gonna need to put all this away and hook it onto the backpack so I can actually uh, safely get up this, uh, this Steep part here, so I'll come back to you when we're uh, maybe halfway up All right, so my camera's finally put away. Got the backpack back on. Um, so you can see, Snowden's just up there, currently covered in cloud. Um, and as I was saying a minute ago, we're actually heading up this way, which uh, really doesn't look like a path, but um, I was able to come down it uh, in my last Snowden camp. Uh, I'll link that again somewhere up here. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna head up that, and then the goal is to pick up where we left off. I camped up there. I'm gonna hike along the ridge here and then maybe set up camp uh, somewhere in this area where uh, I believe there is a water source, at least according to the satellite uh, images. So, got a bit of a ways to go and this is probably gonna be the toughest part here, um, aside from up that peak. But uh, yeah, so I had to put away the big camera so I can use both my hands uh, and I can actually attach the GoPro um, to my hat if, if need be. Um, so yeah, let's get up there. All right, I'm about uh, halfway up. So we came from just down there. Uh, um, but yeah, if I hadn't have gone down this already before, I don't know if I'd go up this way just because uh, there really is no path. There are some areas where you'll get some discoloration in rock where you can kind of figure it out, uh, but for the most part, it's uh, really, really tough to see which way you're going. So you just have to be careful you don't corner yourself in a spot where you can't go anywhere. Finally, something that resembles a path. Almost up, a little bit more to go. And then we start working our way over. Snowden is right there. Actually, I camped just down here last time. Um, and given the wind direction, you can see why. It's a pretty good flat, altered uh, spot. Alright, so now, one more climb to do, uh, and then back down to around here. I'm going to try to find a hopefully sheltered area because the wind's a bit stronger than uh, <laughs> anticipated. really wish I would have brought the solo, but um, I'm happy to save the, uh, the weight, so alright, let's get at it.
So we've picked up the path uh, that I did not get to complete uh, for the horseshoe. Last time I was uh, here, summoning Snowden. So we're just about to begin the last ascent of the day before we drop back down and uh, start looking for a campsite. So hopefully we get some nice views up top. I imagine we will, because we already got some really nice ones right here. Yeah, it's Snowden, just right there. And you can actually see all the way out to the ocean. Pretty incredible. Ooh, almost there. Check out this view. I gotta be careful though. Quite the ways down. Ah, in any case, you can get a better view of where I'm thinking about camping. Uh, once we get over this, the first spot I'm gonna look for is right around here. And if that doesn't work, I know for a fact, because I can see it, <laughs> that there's a flat area there. Uh, but there's also a water source so um, we'll try there first if not we'll move down just a little bit again all dependent on the wind it's on and off uh, it's not too bad right this second um, but you know we'll see all right let's get to the top it's blowing away from the cliff and not towards it. it doesn't look it but we're almost there well halfway <laughs> closer though oh wow that is exposed Pretty view though. So that's definitely a spot I could camp down there and I see a water source. My other option was up here, but given the look of it and this wind, be a little too exposed and I'd have to hike down and back up to get water so I don't know we'll see when we get there
close to the uh, the top of the second peak. mission accomplished so let's go get a camp spot now so we're gonna be heading down uh, again still following the ridge we're gonna check out right there first see if there's anything um, but most likely by that small water source down there we're gonna try to find something um, so yeah let's uh, get there and hopefully get out of this wind All right, um, as you can probably tell, for whatever reason, the wind is not very strong right here. And I found this spot a little close to the edge, but this actually is plenty big enough probably to pitch. Um, so this is a possibility. And actually right down there is also a possibility and potentially maybe one or two over there. So um, this might be a really good option. Uh, just have to go over this little bit and then back down uh, to get to that water source. Um, however, uh, this is, you know, I mean, look at that view. Uh, and these spots could really work. So, and it's out of the wind. So I don't know if I'm gonna get much better than this. So I may just have to travel and just do a trek to go get the water. Um, maybe hide my backpack somewhere uh, and then just come back. So. I don't know, I'll hike to the top, I'll take a look, and then, uh, yeah, make the decision. Well, it's a little bit further than I thought. I don't know if you can see it right there. So, I'm gonna make my way there still. Um, I have to get water either way. I kept my backpack just in case I decide to stay down there. Um, but I have about two hours until sunset, so I'll have just enough time to backtrack uh, and head back over this ridge. Uh, to get to the other spot if uh, it's just too windy there or if there's no good views. So we'll see. Making our way there now. It was a uh, much steeper decline, or much bigger decline rather, uh, in elevation than I thought. <laughs> I'm at the water source. It's just right there, but uh, yeah, I don't know if it's worth going back up that to camp right in that uh, bit. I don't know, we'll see. All right, I think I found a spot. So I've just dropped down. Uh, so the other spot I was looking at was right there. So I came up over the ridge. The water source is actually just on the other side of this. It's really close, but I found this really nice flat spot, relatively out of the wind, at least for the moment. But look at the view that I will have tonight. Pretty incredible. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get unpacked uh, and get some water. talk about the wind dying down any longer. <laughs> I seem to jinx myself every time.
think I'm gonna add the additional uh, guy outs for the uh, little tabs here today just because the wind, I don't know, it does seem a little unpredictable, so. It's nice to sit down for a second. Oh my gosh, this view. I'll have to show you in a second. Um, I do gotta be careful opening the door though because the wind is coming right this way, right into the the uh, door, so I don't want to uh, create a parachute or anything like that. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead, uh, get the water filter, and then we should probably go get water so we can settle in and uh, yeah, enjoy the view and start cooking in a little bit. So, this is the view. Pretty incredible. So today, we uh, came up the miner's path, which you can see is that line right there, right at that beginning of that waterfall or stream cut up on this ridge and then up to here which is where I camped um, at the previous time I summited Snowden and we came up along this ridge up and over and now we're here so yeah pretty good day uh, so far um, got a little bit of time before sunset so might just grab a beer enjoy the rest of the daylight um, yeah, and then we'll start cooking. But first, before grabbing a, a beer, put on the puffy. Um, with the wind, it's actually quite chilly. Uh, the weather report said with the wind chill, negative two tonight. Um, I didn't really believe it at first because I think the temperature without the wind is, um, I don't know, plus five. Uh, or greater, um, but with the wind chill, and yeah, I guess now that I can feel the wind, um, I guess I could see it, so it'll probably get a little chilly out here, uh, but it should be fine inside the uh, tent. All right, brought two today. Uh, first is a double IPA from Northern Monk, Order of the Fate, very good. Cheers, guys. sit back behind the tent, try to find a shelter spot so I can get this door closed, um, just so it doesn't put too much stress on the tent with the door open. Alright, nice little spot behind the tent here, still got the view, um, but I have a tiny bit of a wind break, so, cheers. And uh, the wind dies down. It's just too much to deal with sitting out in the open. The wind's finally died down for the most part. 
All right, time to start cooking. Alright, so tonight I am making beef and broccoli over noodles. Um, yeah, fairly simple. A uh, really nice dish. My wife really liked it and I made it. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do that tonight. First, um, I'm going to blanch the broccoli. So, I'm going to uh, get uh, water to a boil and then put the broccoli in, uh, let it sit, pretty much cook nearly almost through. Um, yeah, and then add it to everything else later. Gotta get some water boiling. All right, so this is uh, rump steak that um, I've cut into nice thin slices. Um, so one way to do this easily is just at home, go ahead and throw it in the freezer uh, for about, I don't know, 10 to 20 minutes. Uh, and right before it starts to freeze, go ahead and take it out and then you can cut it into nice thin slices. Um, and it makes it a lot easier than trying to uh, just get the steak and cut it into thin slices. So what I'm going to add to this is a mixture of cornstarch, uh, soy sauce, rice wine, and a bit of sugar. And I'm going to let that just marinate for a little bit while I finish cutting up the rest of the veggies. Mix it around a bit. Alright, I'm going to let that marinate for just a little bit.
So one of the things you can do is buy these little pre-cooked uh, noodle packets. And uh, when you're camping like this, it saves time and water. Alright, so that's it. Uh, chicken, or <laughs> chicken, beef and broccoli um, over noodles. Ooh, that is really hot. In any case, I'm going to go ahead and um, eat this. Maybe crack open one more beer and um, call it right. Oh, yeah. Super simple. So good. Alright, catch you in a little bit. For anyone wondering how I do dishes, um, I use these little compressed towelettes. Um, I think they're called coin tissues by CC Mint. Um, yeah, I don't know. My wife got me them, a uh, whole box of them a couple years ago for like a stocking stuffer. But um, yeah, they're great. You just basically take one out, uh, you put it uh, on your pan, put a little water on it, and it expands, and then you can use it to clean your dishes um, or if you need it for other reasons, um, uh, you can use them for that as well. But yeah, they're really, really nice, and they are uh, they don't break apart very easy, so they're really um, good to wipe down stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, as you can see, it's windy off and on. Um, it's not too bad, but it, every once in a while we'll get a quite a big gust. Um, hopefully the wind's a little bit better in the morning and I can take the drone out and kind of give you a better idea of where I ended up pitching um, tonight. But um, yeah, pretty solid camp. Uh, it stinks I busted my camera, but um, is what it is. I was able to fix it the first time, so hopefully I can fix it this time. Um, and hopefully I'll get to use the drone in the morning if the wind uh, gets a little bit more stable because uh, I don't want to risk breaking a second piece of camera equipment <laughs> on this trip. But um, yeah, overall good hike. I'm getting to do that second part of the, uh, I think they call it the horseshoe, um, that I did not get to do the last time I was up here and I summited Snowden. Uh, definitely, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I did uh, Creep Gok, which is directly across from me amazing hike um yeah really really cool kind of razor edge uh along the ridge up towards snowden so uh, yeah if you haven't seen that i'll link it up here i guess um and you can um yeah check that out so yeah that'll be it for tonight good trip so far hopefully in the morning we get a good sunrise see you in the morning good night Earplugs, it's so noisy. Oh. So, I just got done retensioning all the guys. Um, 
it started raining on me, so I came back in. But everything seems good now. Uh, the tabs at the ends, the four tabs that you can guy out as well, really help with the wind stability. Um, and there's actually an additional little loop at the base of this little uh, carbon fiber or plastic, I'm not sure what it is, um, pole that's at the ends of the tent. You can actually stake that out as well. Um, so yeah, you can really dial it in uh, in preparation for winds. But uh, yeah, <laughs> leave it to whales. <laughs> just don't even bother with the forecast. Just expect wind rain and cold temperatures <laughs> but uh everything seems to be good now so uh i'm going to attempt to get some sleep seconds or so it would go from a dead stop to um, some strong gust and that just happened all night uh, so I kept thinking it was going to stop but it didn't <laughs> but um, yeah the tent held up well though um, I can't stress what a difference guying out the uh, extra little tabs on the end make um, so yeah, did really, did really well, but, um, yeah, even with the earplugs, oh, I just, I couldn't get any sleep because of this, <laughs> but it's okay, it's part of the fun, um, so yeah, just a little tired this morning, but gotta get up and make some coffee, oh. Maybe five more minutes, and then I'll get up and make some coffee. Yeah, let me do that. Okay. to uh, just come in and pack up and do the coffee inside the uh, tent. Uh, it's just a little too windy to, I think, really enjoy it <laughs> out there. Um, so yeah, gonna make the coffee in here, uh, pretty much all packed up, and uh, yeah, then we'll get moving. All right, I'm gonna attempt to keep the door open while doing this so I can at least enjoy the view. Actually looks like we're getting a sunrise. Oh, and I'm missing it. All right, maybe we'll go outside.
clutch in there, bro. Bit too windy, though. Man, I'm gonna get back to this. What a spot. All right, I'm freezing. <laughs> I am gonna make the coffee in the tent after all. Wow, that was fast. I use alcohol stoves most of the time or just uh, twig stoves. Forget how fast these things work. I haven't had one of these Cujo coffees in a while. My family was just on holiday back in the States. So I was able to go to an REI, which has been my toy store for years. But um, I love this coffee. thing I really love about the Hilleberg tents is they're really good to take down in winds like this. Uh, you can pretty much bring the tent down while it's still staked in, which is awesome. Leave no trace as always. Alright, so as you can tell, the wind hasn't gotten any better. <laughs> probably worse but um yeah just gotta head down uh 
this path and pick up the miner's track off in the distance and it's about two miles back to the car. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put away the camera and stuff uh, just so I can get down this uh, safely in this kind of wind. So one last look. We camped just right over there. Absolutely amazing. All right, I'll see you uh, when we get down to the bottom. All right guys, so we just made it down from up there. Uh, this felt like a good enough time to sign out because the path, pretty easy from here on out, uh, all the way back to the car, which is about a uh, mile and a half, two miles still. So not too bad. Uh, too bad we couldn't get the drone out this trip. It would have been really nice to show you the little cliff I was able to camp on uh, up there, but you know, maybe next time I just didn't want to risk damaging it or potentially losing it in the wind uh, since I already have to deal with the one camera. But um, yeah, so hopefully you liked it and I'll catch you on the next one. Please like, share, and get outside. Better.